Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I post a new video every single Sunday at 12 p.m. H2 Standard Time. Subscribe to my channel. I click on the bell if you want to find whatever I post a new video. So today's video is going to be a quick love messages, whether you're single or not. So we're going to start from Aries through Pisces. Okay, so Aries. Uh, you can watch for some moon rising and our Venus as well. Okay, so Aries. Let's start. What do you see for my heiresses? We have the year of Ventress energy. You're going to meet somebody that is about traditions. Or maybe with your person, you already have a tradition. Or this weekend, there's going to be something that's going to become... Something that's going to become... Um, it's going to come up every year. I'm forgetting the word for some reason. Hmm. Maybe somebody out of nowhere is going to have to go home to see some family. Okay, there could be some party that is very unexpected. Interesting, we have this major arcana. This weekend, huge things are going to happen. And sudden things could happen as well. We have the Yerfan energy, Taurus energy, uh, Taurus, uh, yeah, Taurus energy, <laughs> Taurus energy, a Scorpion energy. There could be some sort of party. I feel like your person is going to... Um, tell you how much you feel about you but um they have to go i feel like somebody is gonna have to travel this weekend or they're gonna learn some news about um them getting away cocktail party maybe you have planned something this weekend but they're gonna have to call dips on that yeah they're gonna have to go yeah didn't i say that double confirmation for whoever is watching this um the three of one somebody gonna have to travel unexpectedly um but while they are here yeah they're gonna tell you how much you feel about you and just spend as much time as they can with you but yeah this is what i see for your hairies i hope this was insightful for you and i will see you guys next time bye guys okay so taurus let's see what quick messages we have for you whether you're single or taken Okay, for my Taurus, Tauruses. Thank you. Interesting Aries at that card. So maybe you have Aries in your chart or you're dealing with Aries this weekend. Okay, thank you. We have the Queen of Pentacles, I think. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, the single mom, and the world fixed energy, Leo to Scorpio Aquarius. So I feel like you're moving on from somebody here. Okay, maybe this is your last weekend with this person and you're just entering your time. But I feel like maybe you're going to more be more focused about your children if you do have one. Or this weekend, you're going to be very nurturing to other people. Maybe you're taken or maybe, uh, what was I going to say? Other people that are single around you, you're going to be there for them. Okay, you're going to act like you're their person. It is going to be very, very nurturing. You're going to spend money for people. You're going to spend... Um, buy chocolate, flowers for people that are single so that they don't feel alone, um, whether you're single or not. But I see if you are in a couple or you're seeing somebody, I see this being put to an end. Or, okay, so I see this ending in two different in two different ways. Okay, yeah, yeah. It says Seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, the for the right reasons and first impression in the world. So, yeah, um... Either you are with somebody and it's going to end, period. You're going to bo go into your own ways, in your own ways. Or you're no longer going to be single in the sense that you're going to make it official this weekend with somebody that you're dating. Okay, um, but I feel like even before knowing that... Sorry, I'm fixing my stand. Sorry about that. Um, even before you know it's official, you're still going to be there for other people. Or maybe because you're so happy that things are official with you and somebody, you're going to let people know, like, um, I'm still there for you. I'm taken, but it's okay if you're single type of energy. Not saying, necessarily saying it that way, but you're celebrating and you're happy whether you're single or taken. And you're going you're gonna to spread that joy around you, around people, especially people that are single around you, okay? 
I see you being really happy with your person, okay? You're just going to feel like wanting to be there for others as well. Even though you're taking, you have a relationship to focus on. You're not forgetting who really, who, who really has been there for you and you're there for people. That needs you or that needs somebody at this point, at this moment, time and moment, okay? But yeah, this is what I see for your choice. I hope this was in for you and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Okay, hi, Gemini. So let's see what we have for you whether you're single or taken what do you see for gemini for gemini what do you see for gemini This card keeps wanting to pop out, so I'm going to take it. I'm not going to take those. Um, we have the Knight of Swords. Aaron and Julia, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Let's see what else we see. This is your energy. Or maybe you're dealing with an air sign. Okay, thank you. So we have the Page of Swords, Gemini energy. And the Eight of Cups. Self-elimination. The meat head, the gossip, and the self-illumination. So, what do I see for you, Gemini? I feel like you're going to be stir-born. Or whatever your energy is, energy is your most. Take it as there isn't. But I feel like it may be you. But, hmm, you're going to be stir-born. And you're just going to start talk shit. And it's just going to backfire on you. Wherever this person, whoever is being stir-born and talking shit or gossiping or like, talking about their businesses to other people that have nothing to do with their business um it's gonna backfire them self-elimination somebody is i heard wasting but that's not the word that i'm looking for but basically um for lack of better words they're wasting their opportunity with somebody okay you had the ball was in your court. Some the ball was in somebody's court, and they wasted their opportunity, their chance with being uh, something with someone just because they could they couldn't get it, they couldn't keep it to themselves. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's up, but that's the energy that I'm getting. They thought they were slick, but they played themselves. Okay, they thought they were playing you, Gemini, or whatever the case may be. But yeah. They were playing themselves. Seven of Wands. Drama. Somebody is not what they seem to be. So rejection is protection, whatever it is. Rejection is protection. Somebody was trying, think, trying to be slick. Ace of Swords. Fresh me. The truth is going to come out. The, the full Aries energy. Yep. You're going to move on to this person, okay? They're not meant to be in a relationship or they're not ready to be in a, new, in a relationship yet. Um, and it is what it is. Um, yeah, the magician. I see you just moving on and go both in your own merry way. But yeah, this is what I see for you, Gemini. I hope this wasn't stuff for you, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Okay, hi, Cancer. So let's see what we have going on for you, whether you're single or taken. Okay, for my Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, what do you see for them? This wanted to pop up. Nine of Swords, blindsided. Ace of Wands, first impression rose. Interesting because I thought it was the Ace, but Eight of Cups, self elimination. Gemini just had this card, and I you saw me shuffle, and I felt. And usually, I I rather take um jumpers, and I felt drawn to pick and choose. It was so very interesting that all, all the cards, and you saw me shuffle. Um, I picked the card that Gemini has. So maybe you're dealing with a Gemini or you could have that in your chart and that could be a, a message that it could mean that there's a specific message for you. So for my Cancerian, mm, you're seeing somebody's true colors, but you're trying to ignore them because ignore is the red flag because you really truly love this person. You have a lot of affection. There's a lot of physical attract, uh, physical you find this person very attractive. There's a lot of... What's a word? Why am I losing my words? There's a lot of sexual tension. But somebody's going to end up losing their true colors. Or maybe... um, What? 
what did I want to say? I'm so sorry. Somebody's being confused. I think I'm really so, I'm reading somebody's energy because I wasn't like at the beginning. <laughs> at the beginning, um, somebody is, is lost for words. Somebody is gonna end up showing their true colors. Maybe somebody been showing you their true colors, been showing you red flags, but you try to ignore it. No, 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 no. It's just it was random. It was just a coincidence. But no, the red flags are red flags and are there for a reason. Okay. Just because they're very eloquent, very attractive, doesn't mean that they're the right person for you. And I feel like you've been know that. And they're going to make another a mistake and that's going to let you know, no, 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 it's not a coincidence. They're really not the person for you to say in the most um, polite way possible. But uh, King of Wands, the executive producer, the Empress, Libra Taurus Virgo, energy the advisor we have the four rings possessive so maybe this person is very possessive or maybe you're very you touch you get attached to people really quickly yeah cancer you love when you love you love so i feel like maybe yeah this person has been shady they've been talking in your back but you're gonna see you're gonna learn their truth and see them for who they truly are literally gemini had those cards as well so interesting that we we just search gemini energy it's been spying on you but the truth is gonna come out drama here people are talking your back especially them and i feel like somebody could have told you like mm, i'm not sure about this person cancer like you should be careful about them and um if you've been waiting for a sign i feel like you've been showing a sign but if you want a clear sign it will come this weekend possibly even okay but maybe this is if this is not you that's very possessive this person is very controlling okay but yeah that's just what i see for you cancer i hope this doesn't suffer for you and i'll see you guys next time bye guys okay hi leo so let's see what quick love messages we have for you whether you're single or taking you can watch your sun moon rising and venus and please remember that energy is interchangeable i felt not to pick this one death card scorpion energy the end what else do you see give me two more give me two more cards please Thank you. What else do you see? What else? What else? What else? I'm all I almost called Cancerians Leos at the end of their reading. Some of you dealing with a Cancer, there's something significant with a Cancer sign. Okay, maybe you have that in your chart. I meant to say. We have the Temperance Sagittarius energy, um, the Hierophant Taurus energy, and Scorpio energy here. So Ten of Swords rejected. They're going to be ending in a relationship right now. You're seeing someone, you're dating someone, you're going to be rejected or they're going to be rejected. Um, I don't feel like it's because they were not, they were unfaithful or because you were unfaithful. I feel like um, whatever it is, maybe it's both of you guys, take it as it resonates, I always say that. Um, it's an issue of values, traditions. Um yeah they may have truly loved you i'm not saying that you you may have as well truly loved them but i feel like the the, the there's an issue with you guys is beliefs and that's where um that's the main reason as to why things are going to end this um weekend potentially here or in the next few weeks keep it chill but i feel like you're not yeah i feel like it's going to be a very like chill type of breakup it's like it's you're not gonna leave on bad terms it's just like you both knew that you both saw that coming and you respect each other it's like you have your values i have mine i have my traditions you have yours and we can just not work it out and so if you just understand each other like i feel like you both sense that before it happened so that when it happened it's like it's no bad blood between you guys because you know you knew it you felt it you both felt it deep down so you're gonna leave on very good terms like it's gonna be very chill um yeah like i don't think like neither of you were unfaithful whatsoever okay if anything about on being unfaithful it would have been more regarding both of you guys values okay if you were to stay together you would have ended up not necessarily losing you guys losing each other but there's certain morals that you would have had to go against if you were to stay together if i can say 
if it's I said that properly um yeah maybe you feel like it's something with you but no eight of uh the strength card the energy queen of wands yeah it's not you it has nothing to do with you interesting we see leo energy again i haven't seen this straight card uh, ever in this deck so yeah the emperor here nine of swords uh, nine of pentacles you're better off without each other okay and you knew that i feel like you saw this coming i'm never i'm not even telling you anything new leo <laughs> um but it has nothing to do with you just like it has nothing to do with them per se like it's not oh you're a trash person it's just more i feel like it's more about you guys' values and what you truly believe in um that is ultimately bringing it up to breakup okay to separation but yeah, that's it. That's what I see for you, Leos. I hope this wasn't helpful for you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Hi, Virgo. So let's see what love messages we have for you. So you can watch your sun, moon, rising, and our Venus. Please remember that energy is interchangeable. And this is a message whether you're single or taken. So take it as it, uh, yeah, take it as it resonates, okay? What do you see for my Virgos? Okay, that was quick. The villain, the devil, Capricorn energy, we have the lover, Gemini energy, and we have the wheel of fate. Mutable energy, Gemini, Pisces, Virgo, Sagittarius. Interesting, we have just um, major arcanas. Okay. Interesting. This is a strong collection or a connection. There is a strong bond. And it's interesting that love is in the middle, but you guys are toxic in a toxic relationship right now virgos okay i see you maybe switching it up by that i mean it could be possibly maybe you're gonna have a brand new beginning within the relationship a new fresh start within the relationship or as you realize how toxic you are to each other maybe you realize that you're toxic to your person or you realize that you're not good at all one together and therefore it's going to bring a new sense of beginning within the relationship or you're going to end up separating with this person maybe there's somebody around you that is toxic regarding your connection that is putting their little sense in your relationship in you guys' relationship so you can it resonates could be a woman or somebody that has a strong divine feminine energy now as I say that, yeah, wait, I didn't realize that. <laughs> I just say that because I always focus in what cards. I find it always fascinating when I see a card that just confirms what I was saying. So yeah, the, we have the Empress, the better is we're going to do. So yeah, and I feel like, mm, this is funny because all that to say, if I think something I should say before I speak, I, I, I call, uh, I show the cards because I was feeling, is it somebody's mom? And then... When I look at the cards that I put, uh, that I check additionally, we have the mom of the tarot, literally. So double confirmation, it could be somebody's mom, or somebody's hacking like your mama, or like your person's mama. Could be a henty, a grandma, I think it has to resonate, but I felt like, mm, is this somebody's mom? Because I made me look like, it looks like a feminine energy, so I was like, okay, interesting. But this is the leader there. Nine of cups. Fantasy suits. Somebody is happy to be in your guys' business. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, like somebody is happy to put little tuts in their person, whoever, like could be you or it could be them. They're happy to feed um toxic thoughts toxic their toxic opinion that doesn't matter um in you guys's relationship so for example if it's you like your for example take it as it resonates it doesn't have to be your mom or nor you but i'm taking it at take i'm saying this as an example it's like your mom is like oh like you see what they did last time like i don't have a good feeling about them um virgo like like fitting little thoughts, like they're they're trying to like, um, looking make you doubt about your person, but they're saying it's looking making you doubt. It's not it necessarily that you believe them one hundred percent, but just them seeing just seeing the doubt in your face, like taking in consideration what they're seeing about you guys' relationship is making them happy. This person is toxic. Mm. I was gonna say something, but that's on you to how to deal with this person, but. 
yeah, like they feel like, yeah, the high priestess of Virgo energy. This is literally your energy. I feel like, yeah, I'm not saying you had it. I'm not saying you anything. You, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. If this is, if you're like, what the fuck is she talking about? That this is all for you. Um, somebody has their own, own issues in their own relationship, and they think they have a a say in other people's relationship. Damn. Okay, and this is funny because I uh, not long ago I heard like, um. Basically, it's your relationship. It's not a community. And somebody feels like it is a community. Hell no. But, um, yeah, nine of wands, meeting parents. So, again, I feel like you're, maybe you're going to meet your, your, your person's parents and you see how toxic they are, okay? And, yeah, I feel like just that realization of somebody being toxic is going to renew the relationship. I don't feel like it's necessarily going to bring to a ending. Could be for some of you the ending um death card gripping energy here though as i said that very ironic as i say that but it's gonna bring balance either balance in you guys relationship or it's gonna be put in it and however you want it whatever you wanted the relationship to be is gonna be that okay but yeah that's it that's what i see for you virgos i hope this was insightful for you and i'll see you guys next time bye guys Okay, hi Libra. So let's see a quick love message for you, whether you're single or taken. Um, if you can watch your sun, moon, rising, and our Venus, please remember that energy is interchangeable. Okay, so for my Libras, way too many, but we have the lovers, okay, that popped up we have the four swords reassuring rose five of pentacles insecure and this one we have the seven of cups the edit i want to look at this card as well which is the eight of swords in your head okay and the two of pentacles final two I feel like you need a lot of reassuring in this relationship. You're going to ask a lot of reassuring in this connection this weekend or in the next few weeks, within the next few... I feel like I'm trying to say within the next few days. I feel like you're going to see somebody for tr truly who they are, okay? Somebody is a lot in their head. And we feel like, oh, my person is so confident. They're so attractive. There's nothing they are worrying about within the connection. If anybody, it's a me. But it's not the case. Like, you're going to be very surprised. Whoever is insecure in the connection, you're going to be... The other person is going to be very surprised because the person feels like, oh, like, they're confident. The the app, they're just that charisma to them but when you get to talk and to get to know them on a deeper level they don't feel like they're worthy of you at all well, not in the sense of yeah insecurity but not how can i put that i realize how like how much they care about you through how unworthy they feel about you if it makes sense um and you're going to see them for who they are. Like, not that superficial, that perfect-looking person. You're going to get to know them good and bad. And see how sensitive they are. And, like, they are, okay, did I do that? And did Libra overthought what I did? Or did I like what I did? Like, you can see how much they care about you. And they really, your opinion really matters. And you're going to see how you, they really, you really matter to them this weekend. Especially, um... Uh, you're going to see how shy they are. I really don't feel like, they don't seem like they're very shy or very open emotionally. But they're going to be, you're going to dig deep, like, metaphorically, <laughs> maybe, um, literally. But, um, you're going to get really to know more this person this weekend on an emotional level, personally. You're going to get to know them more as to, um, with or as a person, as a human being. And balance is gonna be restored within this connection. You're not gonna be there more worthy of you. They're not gonna think they're more worthy of you. You're gonna put you're gonna put each other on the same um level if it makes sense. Yeah, eight of roses, leap of faith. Literally what I said. But like communication is gonna come in and there's gonna be a little bit of sexual tension. Okay, maybe you're gonna do a little bit of sex though. Okay, but um <laughs> it might be spicy this weekend. Um, but a very emotional roller coaster as well. But yeah, that's it. That's what I see for your Libras. I hope this was insightful for you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.
Hi Scorpio, so let's see quick a quick message love message for you. you whether you're single or taken you can watch your soul moon rising or venus please remember that energy is interchangeable for my scorpio sun moon rising in our venus okay we have the high priestess virgo energy the Five of Wands competition. We have the Two of Wands date card. What else? A filter to pick this one. Six of Wands challenge winner. Somebody, you're going to see a lot of people wanting you this weekend and you feel it. Um, you know what it is that I'm talking about, Scorpio. <laughs> Okay, you know you're wanted, or you know exactly what I'm talking about, and if it's, if you have no idea, then this is not for you, this message is not for you. Or you, you saw something coming about two people fighting for you, and somebody's going to take the sleep of me, to ask you out, as Virgo, I almost called you Virgo, okay, so maybe you're dealing with a Virgo, or maybe you have Virgo in your chart, and that could mean there's a specific message for you, okay, but... Scorpio, you're taking that person. Okay, it's like he's not a fight coming, but even before the fight happens, like whoever's gonna fight to get you, you already know. You already know who you're gonna take, Scorpio. I feel like you're letting. <laughs> you're. I'm not judging you, um, but um, I feel like you're letting your ego getting fed a little bit because it makes it happy to see people fight for you, even though you already know who you finna take. <laughs> at the end of the day but you just i feel like you maybe want to take you do you want to see how much your person wants you scorpio i mean hey i can't i can't knock down your hustle okay but yeah like you, you're trying to see how far somebody maybe you're trying to see how far somebody is willing to go to have you even though you know you're already gone to go for them <laughs> but it's like okay like let me just enjoy this little moment okay for myself okay maybe you're you're letting a little bit of doubt in this person's mind whether you're going to take them or not when you know you know damn well you're finna take them <laughs> okay but yeah that's, that's what i see for you scorpios i hope this doesn't stop for you and i see you guys next time bye guys okay hi sagittarius so let's see let's get a quick love message for you so whether you're taking or single, you can refer, watch your summon rising at our Venus. Please remember that energy is interchangeable. Okay, this card wants to pop out. No. Five of Cups. Sorry, I'm the worst. I fucked up. Okay, somebody done messed up. And this is interesting because you had the um Queen of... Which one was it? I think it's... I'm still not uh, familiar with all the cards, but hold up. Because I'm, I'm, I know it's a queen, but I don't remember. Queen of Cups? The, that was at the bottom of the deck. Queen of Wands. Okay, so that was the Queen of Wands, the Beauty Queen. So somebody know the okay. They lost in the rank. They lost. They lost their their first place in the ranking. Okay, um, they 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 had a good advance in the marathon, but they lost a lot of um. They're gonna put that. A lot of I don't even know how to explain that, but basically somebody was like your first choice and they became your second choice. Ace of Pentacles first date, okay? Maybe it was your their first date, um, and the first express um the first impression you had of them was not as good as you expected it to be, or maybe this is what is going to happen this weekend. Somebody is gonna lose up in the ranks on how you feel about them, Sagittarius. Three of Cups. Here to make friends. Oof, what is this about? Two of swords, Gemini energy, two on one. The world, fixed energy, little two, scoop your quest, it says fan on it. The fans. Ooh, somebody is not necessarily looking, maybe they want you romantically, but this weekend they may not be 
showing you they want you to be romantic the or maybe somebody you're meeting up with other people right you're socializing maybe you're going to a party or you're going to a public event and for some reason it's it's a guy's date but for some reason it looks like they're here more to make friends than to get closer to their person okay so the world to me could be saying there's an ending okay maybe you're going on a date with your person but all of a sudden wait what a damn minute is it is it this your 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 person it wasn't this your person did it didn't they come with you wasn't it your per plus one people all started ask question it's like oh such right over here right over there is a lone single ready to mingle so people think they have a chance to have you therefore there could be people approaching you and wanting wanting something with you romantically and your person all of a sudden the person that you came with your plus one they're jealous all of a sudden when they were having such a good time making friends rather than being there for their person all of a sudden they see people around you they feel attacked they feel like they have to defend something okay but i feel like you're gonna put it you're gonna be put to the next to, to, to this two and then again eight of roses leap of fate it, it only it is only when they feel like you're they're gonna lose you they're they're fighting for you or they show you that they want you eight of wands it could be a little bit of sexual tension communication could be coming in two of rings final two again there's something with two there's another person in the picture and when they see without other said person it's like oh i'm about to lose my sage but before that what was it what was they doing nothing so i feel like you're gonna you're over this person they always make a mystic oh, i'm sorry sad i'm sorry i should have known better i will know better next time but it's again the same story repeating itself all over again okay i don't if, i don't even feel you're gonna take the other person i feel like you're more um noticing the other person because your plus one is not paying attention to you and it's going in your favor because you can see how much you don't care about you thanks to this other person through this other person but are you going to go to this other person i don't think so i feel like you're, you're done with both of those people um especially your plus one maybe you're maybe are they two, are, are they are they are just two people that want you friends with each other girl what is this what is this Anywho, I'm not gonna dive in because this could be a worthy Alenti reading, but let's see this is what I see for you, Sag. I hope this doesn't suffer for you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Okay, hi Capricorn. So let's see what message love quick love message we have for you. you can watch someone right here on our Venus because some of that energy is interchangeable and yeah, this is whether you're single or taken. So let's see. So we have the Page of Cups, the Daydreamer, Piscean Energy, six, uh, Nine of Pentacles, the Influencer, Virgo Energy. We have the Emperor, Aries Energy. Okay, Capricorn, what is going on? What's what's up? Sorry, I'm just checking this recording. Um, we have the Magician, Aries Energy again. So, somebody, somebody, Capricorn, somebody's head over heels with, over you, okay? Or energy is interchangeable, so if it's not them, then it's you. But somebody, you can see in their eye, you're, you could be talking shit, okay? Not maybe, not this, I'm not saying talking shit, um, talking, gossiping. I'm saying talking shit, like you could say the most random shit or shit that makes no sense, but this person is listening to every single thing that you have to say and they're listening they're paying attention they're looking at you people could be talking left and right but i'm here for my caps i don't care they could be talking about grapes about the three of grapes of carrots girl i'm here for my caps and that's so that's all they know i i'm 
my cast knows that, and that's all that I need to know. Like, you're gonna see, like, you're, you're gonna see, <laughs> you make no sense, but this person, you, you gotta see in their eyes how much, how much love they have for you. To the point that people looking outside, looking around, it's like, wow, like, I wish my person would look at me like that. I wish I would see any and everything, and they would still listen, <laughs> and they would still show me how much they love me okay this person is like you're like um you know you're like a painting like they cannot stop staring at it because the more they look at it the more they notice stuff and there's just point of just injuring you as a person okay they girl i feel like this person they see a future with you but not only that they see you as being the parent of your children okay they see marriage with you they see future with you and yeah they're ready to up on that new chapter with you the limo the chair cancer energy and they're coming quickly towards you king of pentacles the single mom okay so interesting i saw the, the father here so maybe you're having to have a children and maybe before meeting you they were not necessarily ready to have that or they were not necessarily looking for somebody that already had a children but you have a children you're the person that they love you have a children and they're ready to go with that like they don't care they love you and they love all of you okay so especially if you're a single mom or you already have a child on their own they're ready to be a father maybe they were not before but knowing you loving you for who you are it's like okay like i'm ready for that okay you never you never but how can i put that nobody is ready to be a parent right and they never expected to be a parent this quick but they're up for the challenge and you're gonna see them try okay you're gonna see them being ready like maybe before they were not ready but i feel like knowing you with you they're ready for anything okay the and they're ready to leave this new this move on get um scorpion energy they're ready to um up on that new chapter with you and they're there for the right reasons it's a little seven of pentacles there for the right reasons they're very patient with you eight of pentacles and again i see literally said that eight of pentacles they're gonna put the work in okay action speaks louder than words i'm gonna tell you how much i love you but if you there's if there's red flags that need to be seen you're gonna see them but you're gonna feel like maybe oh this person is a red flag but to realize that this person is being their true self and they're very sincere they really truly have things for you and this is just in your head four swords racing your horse this person is going to show you in their action and they're going to tame all your worries um with their action okay oh i love this okay but yeah that's it that's what i see for you, capricorn i hope this was insightful for you and i'll see you guys next time bye guys I feel like to say as well, Nine of Rings, like they cannot stop taking pictures of you or they cannot stop staring here at you, at your pictures, at your profile pic whenever they talk to you. Um, maybe you can see them always taking a picture with of you when you're um, hanging out with each other, okay? <laughs> they really love you. They really find you beautiful in and out and you're gonna see it in their eyes like they are on the bubble they're living on a cloud okay um and i feel like it's gonna stay like that for a while but yeah let's <laughs> see that's what i see for capricorn i hope this doesn't suffer for you and i'll see you guys next time bye guys hi aquarius so let's see a quick love message for you whether you're single or taken you can watch with someone rising in our venus and please remember that energy is interchangeable and as well i want to say happy birthday my quiz okay leave the best of your life <laughs> okay <laughs> okay so let's see for my quiz So we have the two of wands, a date card, the, what is 20? The judgment card, Gemini energy. We have the four of swords, rushing rose. Somebody's going to invite you somewhere. Or a lot of people are going to want you a qual. But only one is going to stick out. Only one is going to make you really be interested in them, getting wanted to know them. There's a lot of potential. But all through all those people, through all those offers, there's one that sticks out. Even though you know there's somebody that sticks out, um, I feel like they're, yes, I'm going to show you in their actions that they truly want you, what they want with you, that they truly want you. 
want things to work out with you. But I feel like, yeah, you're going to ask them for assurance. Or maybe you won't even have to. They know they're going to have to prove themselves to you. Yeah, this person is very smart. King of Swords, Air Energy, Bridge of Gemini, Aquarius. Um, Six of Swords, Gemini, Energy. I feel like this is somebody you know. Okay, they could be... There could be a bunch of people from the new people, a bunch of new people coming towards you, but ooh, that past person comes back again, and they stick out for a reason, okay? And you want them um, amongst all those new offers, all those new potential. So I feel like, yeah, again, so maybe I feel like it's very, like, things that are unsaid. Like, they know they're going to have to prove themselves to you, okay? So there's a lot of unsaid things, but it's, like, it's mutually understood if it makes sense not of pentacles they've been spying on your social medias or they have been yeah there's something with profile pictured bachelor the emperor libra um new brand energy what um aries energy i feel like they're ready to be a father maybe that was a discussion that was an um ultimatum they're ready to be a father or they're ready to be we want them to be even though it sounds a little bit toxic Whatever you wanted as a person, whatever, whatever you wanted from them in the past, now they're coming back being able to give you that, okay? Because the way I said, it's better said now, because the way I said that before it was really toxic, okay? But, um, yeah, like, they're the person that you've been wanting, okay? Doesn't mean that maybe you didn't even did talk about what you were looking for in the person. They're coming with everything you want right now, in this time right now. Every Everything they have, but they know they're going to have to prove it to you. Even though they stick out. Even though you want them or you're willing to try with them, they know they're going to have to prove themselves to you. Okay? They don't have to be straightforward with you and show it in the action. Yes, words are important, but actions speak louder than words. You know that, they know that, and it will show uh, within the connection in their action. Um, yeah, they haven't been able to move on from you, or maybe you even as well. Um, therefore, why they're coming back, and therefore, why you are giving them another chance as well. Okay, but... Yeah, I heard ultimatum. Maybe you're giving them an ultimatum or they know that coming towards you, you're going to give them an ultimatum. Therefore, you're going to see it really quickly. They're not here to play. They're not here to play. But yeah, that's, it. that's what I see for your courses. I hope this was insightful for you and I will see you guys next time. Happy birthday again. So, Pisces, last but not least, let's see a quick love message for you. You can watch for someone rising at our Venus. Please remember that energy is interchangeable. And this is a message for my singles and or couples. Okay, so let's see. Oh, that's too many. Please give me three cards. Okay, interesting the way it fell. We have the Five of Swords, Tail, 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 Page of Swords, Air, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, and specifically, more specifically, Gemini energy, the Gossip, the Emperor, Aries energy. Okay, let me, let me take a jumper, actually. Give me a jumper, please. Give me a jumper, please. Give me a jumper, please. Give me a jumper. Thank you. Knight of Pentacles, the late a bloomer. Maybe this person is younger than you. You have known this person for years, maybe. Okay. Um, this person has been hearing a lot about you. This is somebody that has things for you, and they have been hearing stuff about you left and right. Not necessarily that they gossip, but maybe you had the same circle of friends, or um, you've been closer to each other than you think, than you know of, and therefore they have heard about you, um, and that's how they got interested into you, if it makes sense. 
Okay, page of swords. They could. This person. You may not even know about their presence, though. Even though they're cl be closer than you think they are. Um, this person has been spying on your profile, on your. Okay, let me see profile on your socials. Um, because of people's gossip. I feel like they have been the one to gossip, but they have her stuff here and there, so they wanted to uh, check the facts. I don't know. That's why I feel like they have to delete Bloom, but they could have taken a lot of time to to come towards you if they do come this weekend or if they show themselves within the next few weeks. Four of Cups, Reflection. Yeah, this person has been reflecting whether they wanted to come towards you or not, and if they were to come, how they would go about it. Um, the Aries energy, they're coming with a very, um, not childish, but very beginner energy, very amateur energy. Six of Swords, yeah, I feel like, yeah, you know this person from the past, or they know you from somewhere, not of Swords. Um... This is somebody that could have been in and out of your life, but this is somebody that has, maybe they seem amateur, or they seem very, not necessarily immature, but very like, they don't know what they're doing. You would be more than surprised. Seven of Pentacles, for the right reason, okay, they're coming for the right reasons, but they don't, they're not sure how to come about it, therefore they could have, that's why they could have taken a lot of time to come, but they're ready to go towards you, the end, um, the Death Christ Scorpion Energy. Queen of Rings. They're ready to give you what it is that you want. This is somebody that loves food or maybe they love to cook. Maybe they have a children or maybe they have uh, maybe they, they have a sibling. Okay, maybe the the legal garden of um, their sibling or something like that. So maybe they already know how to do some parent stuff. Not necessarily. Maybe they could be a parent, but if that's not the case um, and they do look like a parent, this is somebody that had to take care of somebody even when they were very young. They, get, they had to take care of their um, maybe grandparents. Um, they had to take care of somebody here, okay? They had to grow up very fast, I feel like. Tree of mirrors, red flags. So maybe this person has red flags coming in. Do not ignore them if that's the case. Knight of Cups, the hopeless romantic. This person is really Pisces energy. You guys energy. Um, they're very romantic. But don't be fooled, Pisces, especially you, because you you're the most romantic signs. Like you're in love with love itself, right? So maybe they know that coming in. And they're using the fact how how much you're very romantic. You're you love that shit. You love romance. You love love. Right, so don't be a fool. If you see red flags, they're not, they're not, they're not green flags. Okay, essentially, don't be fooled because I feel like they know that coming in. Not necessarily that you're a Pisces, but they know how, how to fool you. Okay, three of Pentacles, group date. Ooh, they may invite you in a group date or in double date, triple date. Hmm, Knight of Roses, the front rounder. They're very straightforward here, but. Maybe the other people in that blind date, maybe they oh, I didn't mean to say blind date, but in that date, maybe blind date, but in that date, um, there are other people, but the other people want whoever you came with. Oh, I don't think this, that could be the red flag here. Take the red flags for what they are, okay? Take it for face value. See things high to eye, okay? There's something for you to see for what it is. No matter how charming they are, or how shy, or cute, or adorable they are, if you see the red flags, don't ignore them, okay? But yeah, that's it. That's what I see for you, Pisces. I hope this wasn't tough for you. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.